Hi, kids. Okay, let's talk about best international feature. So, the nominees this year for best international feature are All Quiet on the Western Front, German film, Argentina 1985. How did you guess? It's from Argentina. Uh, the Quiet Girl from Ireland, uh, Close from Belgium, and EO is a Polish film. So those are your five nominees. Uh, who is likely to win? Well, um, so I've been discussing throughout my recap of all the other award ceremonies, some of the issues that I have with the foreign language international feature category. That is that the films themselves are nominated by the countries of origin. So one film per each international country and then the Academy narrows it down to 10 and then they narrowed it down to your five nominees. So if you have a film that maybe is um, not something that your country wants to recognize uh, saying something that they don't want to be said, there's a form of censorship there. Um, it's not really being nominated the same way all the other categories are being nominated. And as I've been highlighting, that's why sometimes you'll see a international feature nominated for director and cinematography and costume design and editing and all of these things, but not nominated for best international feature. So at least the Academy, I guess, is recognizing it anyways. Um, okay, having said that, only one of these five is nominated for best picture. Hmm, so the Academy uh, seems to be tipping their hat a little bit there. So maybe they need to change something. I don't know what. Uh, so let's go over the previous five winners for best international feature. So last year it was Drive My Car, Japanese film. The year before that was another round, which is another Danish film. Parasite was the year before, Korean, uh, Roma, the year before that. Mexico and a fantastic woman from Chile the year before that. So those are the previous five winners. If you'll notice, uh, Drive My Car last year was nominated for Best Picture and it won Best International. Um, and then Parasite, of course, was nominated and won Best Picture and won Best International Feature, of course. It'd be silly if it won Best Picture and not Best International. That'd be interesting. I like that. But uh, And then, of course, the year before that was Roma. It was also nominated for Best Picture. A lot of people thought it was going to win Best Picture. It was definitely very close. So three of the previous five winners for Best International Feature were also nominated for Best Picture. So, only one of them this year, All Quiet on the Western Front, is nominated for Best Picture. So, we can probably safely assume All Quiet on the Western Front, a whole bunch of nominations at the BAFTAs, one at the BAFTAs. It could win Best Picture, who knows? I've mentioned Producers Guild is going to happen. See what the producers vote on there. Um, so, if you are guessing, if you are picking, if you are betting at an Oscar pool, who's going to win Best International Feature, it's probably all quiet on the Western Front. There we go. Okay. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.